The Eulogy of Carl Irwin Holder As presented on Monday, December 5, 2016 at the Holy Innocents Anglican Church. Today, we the family and friends of Carol Irwin Holder, more affectionately known as Blue, have met to celebrate his life's journey. Blue is a member of this family legacy that we have traced back to one of the 12 children of a buggy driver some 107 years ago. And that legacy has spread across the length and breadth of Barbados and planted its roots the world around. His formative years were spent in Triopath St. Andrew with a family of six boys and two girls from his mother, Doris John John Holder Corbin. But all in all, he had a total of 10 brothers and five sisters from both of his parents. Of these, five brothers and two sisters have predeceased him. Today, Blue lives on in the hearts of his sisters Elfrida, Elaine, and Mona, and his brothers Garfield, Bertram, Kelvin, Tyron, and Trevor. Later, his matriarchal family settled in Welchman Hall, St. Thomas. And as the siblings all reach adulthood, Blue resettled in Allen View with his own family. Still keeping in close contact with his siblings and his mother, and always ready to put on that felt hat and come down the line to raise that black umbrella in their defense. As true as John 3.16 is how he would quickly profess his commitment to their cause. Adult life had many rewards for Blue. He served in the road board, MTW, and for years, until his retirement, drove what we grew up knowing as the rocking engine. The skills of his labor can be seen in the level roads in many communities across the island. In fact, I remember at age four, as I watched the road in 2nd Avenue being paved, my Uncle Blue drove the rocking engine on that surface. His work was not his only achievement. His crowning glory were his nine children, Barbara, now deceased, Wilbert, Marlene, Donna, Virginia, Sandra, Jefferson, Margaret, and Angela. His 21 grandchildren and 19 great-grandchildren through whom his own legacy will carry on. Having been widowed at the age of 45, when his wife, Eunice Nicey Holder, died in 1981, Uncle Blue later took as his bride the quiet and soft-spoken Eleanor in 1985. And for the next 30 years, she remained at his side even as aging and sickness came his way. The voice of Carol Irwin Holder will be remembered as a strong baritone, a performer in service and sounds, in his regular worship in God's house, in giving support to countless church choirs at harvests, concerts, and Christmas programs, in tributes as he attended many funeral services. On many occasions, we have stood in the churchyard here at Holy Innocence, and within the melody, clearly heard that baritone. A nudge to each other would confirm, you hear blue? That is blue. In fact, I can tell you that as the cameras panned the National Stadium, during the funeral of His Excellency Errol Walton Barrow, that powerful baritone voice was heard in the singing. That voice we will hear no longer. No more daily telephone calls to his girls, his grandchildren, his sisters, nor his brothers. 
we wish that heaven had a phone so that we could hear your voice one more time uncle blue but that voice we knew is silent now and until the sound of glory's trumpets that voice and that body will be made anew for those of us who mourn remember as his niece sandra said god is with us there is no pain he cannot soothe no emptiness he cannot fill no despair he cannot remove carol irwin blue holder was called to meet the king of glory at 10 p.m on wednesday the 23rd day of november 2016. for him the golden bells were ringing and he is at peace in the lord no more fitting tribute to his cross in the jordan than the one written by his grandson troy shall be used to bid him farewell rise in power grandfather home with the ancestors more life and so until we meet again may god hold you in the palm of his hand rest in peace uncle blue rest in peace the eulogy of carol irwin holder 